So, it, you know, if we assume that you can find AI technology at an affordable rate as a small business, and there's ways that the data that they can anonymize from all the other users can help you get started right away, how do you recommend small businesses figure out where to start? Like, how do you know which use case to go after? Yeah, that's a good question. So one big way I think you can start thinking about use cases is by breaking down the tasks that you do every day as a marketer, as a salesperson, uh, whatever your function is, kind of honestly, even before you get too scientific with it, take out a piece of paper, spend five minutes just writing down, hey, what does a typical day look like for you? Write down anything and everything. That could be even um, in a ton of different meetings. I have sales calls. I write blog posts. I edit content. Whatever that may be, you can very easily come up with a list of probably two dozen tasks that you're doing regularly in your job. Once you kind of have that list where you've kind of broken your day up into different activities, I think it makes a lot of sense to start looking at which activities are the most repetitive. Um, I often like to kind of, as a rule of thumb, look at it and say, which of the tasks do you dread doing in, in a day? It's usually the ones that are super mundane and super repetitive. So with that framework, you can kind of start saying, okay, there's some tasks on here that I do all the time. I do them the same way every time and they take a ton of time. And from there, I would start kind of trying to prioritize that list a bit to understand, okay, as I'm going through, how can I start rating these different tasks? And once you hit certain tasks that have, that you think you have a high degree of repetition to doing that you spend a ton of time on and that you don't like doing, you may actually start having kind of a select group of use cases to start exploring AI. So, I, you know, we go in the course a bit into a more formal framework to do that. But that's kind of where I start with that list. And then you can get more scientific about starting to actually rate which use cases are going to be the most valuable to you as a business to start potentially intelligently automating with AI. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a really good point. I just pulled this up. I, I think my your screen should be sharing now. Um, if, if you're not familiar, we have a tool called AI score and this actually predefines there's, there's about 49 use cases in there right now. You can go through and rate these and then it'll actually, um, it, it'll surface for you everything at the end that you rated a three to a five. So it's on a zero to five scale and that can help you prioritize. So if you're just not sure what a use case even is, it, it's just a free tool you can go through and identify these. And so, so that's a, another way you could get started.